Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So before we start Degrassi High, we are going to be doing a tier list today of the Degrassi Junior High characters. So we have a good bit to go through. I think we have about like 20 or so or whatever. So we're just going to jump right into it. Um, before we get started though, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. You already know subscribing is free as hell. Um, also, if you didn't watch my last video, I watched the entire first part of You Season 4. One of the longest videos I put out, it took me the longest to edit, it took me the longest to export, I worked very hard on that video, so if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do so, and if you don't even like you, if you don't even know what that is, if you're like, what in the hell is you, and you don't even care, just go give it a like, just give it a little like, just a little beep, also comment, oh my god, I hate doing stuff like this, but I have to, you know, like, I only have like 3,600 subscribers, like, I got to promote, why does promoting feel so dirty? Anyway, just go check out my old videos if you haven't, and let's start. <laughs> Alright, so here's our tier list. I actually had to make this tier list myself because all the Degrassi Junior High tier list I saw also included Degrassi High characters, and I'm, I don't, I don't want, I don't want that. So I made my own tier list. I found all these pictures myself, like I did some A1 work on this, so... So the category names kind of come from the grassy TNG, but when I explain them, you'll understand. So the top tier is the blue thong, you know, iconic Manny thong from season three. That means you're God tier. Jimmy calling Ashley a slut. So this is the second to top tier because yes, it was a little misogynistic what Jimmy said, but he kind of ate because it's Ashley. So it's great, but not like God tier. Next is mid, like most of Paige's fits. Um, Y'all may like fight me on this one but Paige was trying to be like the fashion girl but she never really was I mean she had a couple cute outfits but they weren't like you know she wasn't walking on anyone's runway so they were mid mid tier next we have Emily Christine Nelson I don't know if that is Emma's full name I'm pretty sure her name is just Emma and I'm almost positive Spike's real name is Christine. I just feel like that would be how she would spell it. Emily Christine. Anyway, this is the second to bottom tier because yes, Emma is very annoying, very just frustrating to watch, but occasionally, occasionally she has like a bright spot in her character. She may do something good or say something good. Ooh, I hit the mic. But I mean, overall, she's kind of just annoying, but she has that one time where she may eat that's why it's the second to last tier. In the bottom tier, we have Jason Hogarth. I mean, there's no redeeming qualities, none at all. All right, let's get started. And the first character we have is Caitlyn. Now, if this was Degrassi TNG, she would be probably at the bottom, but this is Degrassi Junior High. And I'm gonna put her at Jimmy calling Ashley a slut. I mean, she's not like a God tier character. She's been kind of just here and there, but I like her. She is gonna go down probably, but for right now, she is second to top. Next we have Melanie, I'm pretty sure is her name. If I mess up people's names, I'm so sorry. It's been a while since I've watched the Grassy Junior High. Um, I'll put her in the same category as Caitlyn. I can't really think of anything super impressive she did in the first three seasons. I remember she kind of was helping Kathleen with her like eating disorder storyline. And I remember she has like a big crush on Snake. I don't think she's done anything really negative, but also she hasn't done anything to like make me be like, oh my God, she is a God tier character. Next we have Alexa and I'm putting her at the top. Y'all may be like, oh my God, but you just said that Melanie has done nothing to make her a God tier character. What has Alexa done? Eat. Eat. All Alexa has done is eat. She is always upbeat and positive. She has like a boy toy in Simon who she just controls. Like all I can do is stand. Like that's all I can really do to be quite honest with you. Next we have Susie. I'm gonna put her in mid just because she hasn't really done much. I don't even think she's considered a main character. She's more of a side character. I think she did. Oh yeah, she did have that storyline where the teacher that was trying to assault Lucy came back and was trying to do the same thing to her and Lucy starts trying to stop her and she was like you don't understand until the very last minute when she was like oh my god like he really did try that and I was I was really annoyed at first but you know you know how that goes that's kind of like a very common trope in TV but other than that she really hasn't done much Mr. Yik you he's up there I love Yik he is my fave. I don't know if he's gonna continue on to the grassy high. I really am not sure. I hope he does because I just like Yik. I love the representation. I love his attitude and I love his friendship with Arthur. So he's up there. Next we have Rick. And when I was looking through these 
pictures to like find like all the characters or whatever. I kind of forgot that Rick just kind of stopped appearing. Apparently his last like episode was like somewhere in season two. He had the episode with him and his dad like he was being abused by his dad and he had this Caitlyn storyline like they liked each other but also I think it was Kathleen who liked him and they were setting up a love triangle that never happened. So I'm gonna put him in mid. I mean, he was okay when he was on screen. Oh yeah, and he had that thing with the, was it like environment or something? Something like he wanted to improve the environment. Something, I don't know. Either way, mid. We have Arthur, we're putting him up there with Yik. Like, they're just a tandem at this point. Like, whenever I talk about Arthur, I'm gonna talk about Yik and vice versa. Love them down. Next we have, I believe this is Miss Avery. I'm gonna put her and Jimmy Collie Ashley a slut. I like Miss Avery. She is one of the better teachers in the history of Degrassi. She was always attentive to her students. She had that one that one episode where everyone thought she was a lesbian. And that like opening to the episode had me so shook. Like I actually thought that was happening. Like <laughs> it was kind of funny. Very problematic, but kind of funny. But I like Miss Avery. Next we have, I think his name is Bar. Dolomew? I'm gonna put him in mid. He's Scooter's friend, but I like Scooter more. I think they were trying to do like a Arthur and Yig, but with him and Scooter, but he was too quiet for me. I like Scooter more. Next we have BLT. I'm gonna put him in the blue thong, even though I don't like his name and I don't like his fits. I love when that dude called him the n-word. He just went in, like no questions asked. Like that's exactly how it should be. I hate when I see videos of people not black calling someone who is black an n-word and they're just like taking it. And I mean, I understand you have to be the bigger person and like at the end of the day, you'll probably get in more trouble, but you just can't let that slide. Luckily, I've never had someone who isn't black call me an n-word in my life, but if it happens, I'm ready, period. I like BLT. Hopefully we'll see more of him in the grassy high. Oh. What was his name? Um, I forget his name, but he was like Lucy's boyfriend's friend who was trying to like assault her at one point. I forget. What's his name? It's like on the tip of my tongue and I think it starts with a C. Clutch. There we go. His name is Clutch. He's horrible. Bottom tier. That's all we got to say. Next we have LD. She kind of disappeared once again. I'm going to put her in mid just because I haven't seen a lot of her since that one episode about her dad. Other than that, she hasn't really done much. Joey, I feel like I've never said anything positive about Joey in Degrassi Junior High, but I'm gonna put him in Emily Christine Nelson because he's not as bad as Clutch, but he's very annoying. Snake, we're gonna put him in hmm, either mid or Jimmy calling Ashley a slut. Is he on the same level as Miss Avery and Caitlyn or as Rick in LD? I'm gonna put him in Jimmy Holly Ashley a slut. I feel like he's done a lot. Um, even though he was kind of, he was giving me side eye. I was side eyeing him a bit when his brother came out to him and he was just like, what the fuck? But I mean, granted, it was like 1986. So like gay, mental illness, that's what it is. So that's why he probably acted like that. And he's also like in the middle school. So I can't, you know, fault him too much for that. Next we have Stephanie. Oh my God, the plight of Stephanie K. Um, seasons one and two, Stephanie K was on my hit list, but when season three happened and she wasn't there, I was very upset. <laughs> it's like I hate to love her, you know? I'm gonna put her in Jimmy Call It Ashley a slut. I'm sorry. She's one of my hate to love characters or love to hate, whatever the fuck it is. I taught so much shit about Stephanie, but when she was gone, I missed her. I'm sorry. I do. I'm upset that she wasn't in season three and I'm upset she's gone. Next we have Vula and we stand. Vula was only in season one, but we stand. She got Stephanie all the way together. She got her parents all the way together. Like Vula, I'm I'm very upset she wasn't in the rest of the seasons too. Um, I blame her parents because apparently her parents, like the actor's parents, didn't want her to be on the show anymore. Next we have, I think her name is Michelle, the girl that was dating BLT and her parents were like racist. I'm putting her in mid just because I feel like we didn't really see a lot of her until season three and honestly that may be the only season she's been in. But she's alright, but she's nothing, you know, special. Next we have Spike and I'm gonna put her in the blue thong. She is probably one of my faves. She's always so positive for so many, like, bad quote-unquote things that happened to her like her getting pregnant at like 13 and having like the most annoying baby that she I mean 
we don't she doesn't know how annoying emma's gonna be but then she has to deal with shane's ass and all the kids trying to get her or the parents of the kids trying to get her kicked out of the school because she was pregnant had a baby like she's been through so much she was trying to get a job and then people at the job was being rude to her like so much negative shit happens to her but she always sees the positive in it and i really enjoy that next we have kathleen and i'm gonna put her at emily christine nelson because she is so annoying not as bad as clutch but just annoying like she's always just like a debbie downer she always rains on someone's parade like girl loosen up next we have liz i'm gonna put her in mid the haircut almost put her in emily christine nelson but we're gonna put her in mid she's spike's friend and i mean she's a good friend um i didn't like that one episode something about animals and something what I forget, but I was not on her side in that episode. She was getting on my nerves. Other than that, pretty mid. Next, we have Lucy, and I'm going to put her in Jimmy calling Ashley a slut. The resemblance between Lucy and Ashley is so crazy to me. Like, you would think that they're somewhat related. Lucy always has fits. Her parents are kind of ain't shit. Um, the only reason why she's not in the blue thong is because I just feel like she hasn't done anything to really put her over that hump for me. And you may be like, okay, what did Alexa do? What did BLT do? What did Vula do? She was only in one season. Well, this is my tier list. And if you want to make your own, I'll put the link to this in the description. Like, this is my tier list. And if you want to fight me, you can do that, but you're not going to win. I'll be saying that like I've gotten to so many fights. I've only been in like three fights my entire life. And my last one was in sixth grade. Like, I'll probably get beat up, but whatever. Lucy, she's great, but not God tier. Next, we have Wills, and I'm going to put him in god tier even though he's done some really crappy things in season three you gotta understand what he's gone through he lost his adoptive parents in a car accident his actual dad didn't want anything to do with him no one can truly understand that like any of the other castmates i like wills i like the character development i like the actor it's so sad like when i think about the actor and the fact that he like died and no one knew until like five years later that's very upsetting i like wills and probably is my favorite character like number one my favorite character number two is probably alexa and then three and four is arthur yick <laughs> next we have paul i think that was his name he's not as bad as his friend clutch but he's horrible so we're gonna put him in emily christine nelson like i don't even really want to talk about him anymore because i'm gonna get bad mr radish same thing like mr radish is very uptight for no reason and he hasn't really done anything good so i'm putting him in jason hogart scooter we stand my little brother, I love Scooter. That's all I gotta say. Shane, Emily Christine Nelson. No, we're putting him in Jason Hogart, dead be dad. And I understand your parents don't want anything to do with the kid, but you can make a little bit more effort. But then also he's a middle schooler. So like if I was in the seventh grade, eighth grade and I had a kid, would I want to be around that kid? <laughs> like, I don't, I, I mean, saying it out loud sounds bad, but think about when you're 13, you don't want to be a fucking parent. You know what, I'm gonna put him in Emily Christine Nelson because I gotta think about how old he is and his mindset, but he still is like, Debbie Dad. Next we have Simon, and I'm gonna put him in Jimmy Calling Ashley a slut just because he follows around Alexa and does what she says like he should. Like, he knows his position and he stays in it. And I gotta appreciate that. And last we have the twins, I believe it's Erica and Heather. I like them. They get into some hijinks. They love some good like gossip. They love some tea. I'm very interested to see what they're gonna do in the grassy high. I wonder, are they gonna split them off more or still kind of keep them together all the time? Because overall, they're always like, you see Heather, you see Melanie. No, that's not their names. <laughs> you see Heather, you see Erica and vice versa. So very interested to see what they do in the grassy high. But that's it. I actually like a lot more characters than I dislike, which I feel like it's the opposite for the grassy TNG. Like I feel like I dislike more characters than I like. You know, I'm very excited to see what Degrassi Jr. High brings, and I wonder who out of all of these characters are actually going to be in Degrassi High, and I'm interested to see these new characters, so we're going to get into that very soon. Actually, my next video will be watching the first two episodes, so look out for that, and yeah, that's all we got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and I'll see y'all next time. Adios.